Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a few extra optimization steps you can do on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 PC, especially after the latest Windows updates because so many applications just got re-enabled again. So therefore guys, I'm going to show you what you should disable 100% and some extra tweaks you probably didn't know before where you can increase your performance of your Windows PC just a little bit more. So therefore guys, if you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to leave a like and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, with the latest Windows 10 and Windows 11 update, there are so many applications again running in the background of your PC which got re-enabled and everything you guys gotta do is go into your Windows search bar in the first place, type in apps and they can see already apps and features and it's gonna automatically put you here into the Insert Applications tab and you can just browse through real quick, actually look for like applications we know already, okay, I won't utilize this here anymore on my PC, so I'm just gonna uninstall it, you know, just simply go through real quick, you know, and if there's something like related to Microsoft, or some other stuff just simply leave it here because you need that a hundred percent guys and then you're gonna click here actually on the left side again onto apps so you see this tab here now again and there we have first of all advanced app settings because we've just been here into installed apps of course before so we're gonna click here onto advanced app settings actually and then we can see here first of all share across devices continue app experiences on other devices this is a service which we definitely want to turn off guys because this is using so much of your ram in the background guys it's like one of these big applications which are running there so therefore please make sure to turn it off then we have app executions and then we can see everything except snipping tool which is like the only one i utilize i turn off because i don't need that here itunes related stuff don't need that paint who who uses that on his windows pc i don't know guys then we're gonna click it back onto applications guys and then we have next up here offline maps of course we don't want that as well here on our pc guys like no one uses this just simply make sure that it's turned off guys and that the updates themselves are also turned off. You can see it automatically update. We don't want that. Just simply um, put the check here away actually. And we're gonna go back here. Then we have optional features, extract functionally for your devices. We don't want that as well guys. So therefore we have your notepad, something like that in background. Okay, that one I actually would leave. But let's just say that you have some services like the printer management, which you don't utilize on your PC. Try to uninstall it real quick. You know, it's only a few megabytes, but I mean, why should you leave it on your PC? That's like a thing, you know? Um, apps for websites, you're gonna click onto it. They can see Xing. I of course have this here as well disabled because I don't utilize that guys. Then we have next up video playback. Um, this only really comes down like to the quality. If you have something like HDR running on your PC, this actually puts out such a huge workload on your Windows PC. So therefore, if you have HDR actually enabled guys, please make sure to turn it off because you don't need this while gaming. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, for the rest guys, you only have here as well now. Startup, you know, all these applications which are starting with your Windows PC. And for me, it's only Megahertz RAM Booster. This is like one of the tools I explained in like, I think the last optimization guide which is super, super nice to have running here on your Windows PC. And yeah, for the rest, I just turn it all off, you know. I don't need Battle.net running instantly. I don't need my Logitech Hub. I don't need my Vanguard for Valorant. You know what I'm saying, guys? Everything here, just simply leave it off. And with that said, we're pretty much done here already. Yeah, this is like the first section here, applications. And now we continue with the next step. I'm now just going to show you how you can disable some stuff like having a transparent Windows search bar here on the bottom, you know, just some stuff to overall tweak the performance here on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC. This works for both. And what I want you guys to do pretty much now in the first place is go into your Windows search bar and just simply type in personal until you find themes and related settings. And once you're in here, guys, you're just gonna click here onto personalization. And there we can see instantly here colors, accent color, transparency effect, and color theme. And this is exactly the one we're searching for. So we're gonna open it up here. And once we're in here, we can already see here transparency effects. Windows and surfaces appear translucent. And this is something, of course, guys, which you wanna turn off because this is putting such a huge workload onto your Windows PC, especially here with the bottom task line or, you know, all the menus that are just simply not transparent for the background. You know, this is like such a big difference here on your Windows PC because you have so many windows which have like this transparency effect. So please guys, make sure to turn it off. Then we're gonna go actually back one. And the next up we can see is something like start. We're just gonna click onto it. And in here guys, make sure that especially show recently opened items in start, jump list and file explorer is turned off. This is super important guys, because this is actually a process which takes so much RAM and CPU power in the background. Please make sure to just turn it off. You can of course also turn off the show recently added applications, but this is actually something which I like here on Windows 11. So therefore I'm just gonna leave it on for max performance, turn it off. You know what I'm saying guys. Then we're gonna go back here again one more and then we're gonna go to the taskbar and you can see here I have all the taskbar items disabled. Search, task view, widgets and chat 
everything turned off. And of course, also here for the test by corner icons, we have the pen menu, touch keyboard, virtual touchpad. I don't utilize any of these, so therefore, please also make sure to turn all of these here off. And with that said, we're pretty much done here already with this step, guys. Super, super easy. And let's continue with the next one. And yeah, guys, for the final step now, I'm just going to show you what I also do personally here on my Windows PC, just to tweak it overall for maximum performance. What you can do is go into your Windows search bar and just simply type in appearance until you find adjust for appearance, you know. This is pretty common guys, the performance options, just simply put it here onto adjust for best performance. When I'm doing it in my tutorials, I leave it off guys because yeah, it will look horrible windows, you know what I'm saying? So therefore I'm not gonna apply it here, but if you guys wanna go for maximum FPS, it's gonna turn off more or less like all the animations which are built in into windows. Like it's gonna look really stiff and really not that great. So therefore you gotta know it for yourself. Maybe you find some stuff here which you wanna actually keep on, something like show thumbnails instead of icons. This is like something which I would leave on definitely 100%. Smooth edges on screen fonts, you know, just, just like overall visual aspects. Of course, as mentioned, if you're going on to go for max fps on a low end pc make sure to turn all of these here off yeah and once we're done with that guys you're also going to go into a window search bar again type in presenter temp presenter and make sure to delete all of these temporary files here everything for me except my highlights actually because those are my nvidia highlights you know and besides that you can delete all these files here just temporary stuff you don't need that on your windows pc so therefore make sure to delete all of them here. If you have something which is like not getting deleted, just simply make sure to apply here this, um, do not do this for all items and skip, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, then you pretty much already deleted all of the temporary items which are just filling up your PC. And now I'm just going to show you as well how you can delete additional temporary files. What you guys need to do is press your Windows and R key on your keyboard, you know what I'm saying? Until you find this run window and you're just simply gonna type in prefetch, yeah? Just real quick like this here. And there you can see some more temporary files which are getting created on your Windows PC. PC, just simply mark all of them here again and you can delete them because they're just simply slowing down your Windows PC just like this you guys super super easy again skip it for the data and yeah with that said you already cleared up so many temporary files here on your Windows PC which are just slowing it down causing your performance issues and yeah then you're just gonna go into a recycling bin guys also super important empty it because I see still way too many people would just keep it in the recycling bin I don't know have you never used the Windows PC and yeah with that said we're already done here as well those are just like some additional steps which are quite common but i felt like i need to put them in here because we have so many new subscribers and there are probably still people who didn't know that and yeah guys that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would upload so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace that shit too light Big four and hoe come get inside Diamond Gucci link come take a dive Kill that shit but just don't kill the vibe Yeah